Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to do a quick video uh, covering some of the upcoming changes to the Epic Pass. Uh, so what's basically going on right now, uh, as of December 6th today, the Epic Pass, uh, like preseason passes, are going to go off sale. Uh, so what that means to you is if you haven't bought a pass reserving some sort of days in the future, your only other option after today is going to be to buy day of passes. So essentially you have to go online, purchase a day of pass, and then select that day that you, you know, that following day that you're going to want to use your pass. So if you were to buy a pass right now, whether it's a season pass, a specific resort pass, or uh, you're buying like one of the one through seven day, I think up to 10 day passes, then you can go ahead and pre-pick your days um, for future dates, especially if you plan to travel. So there was just a recent update as well, which I think is actually pretty cool, is that pass holders can now book week of reservations daily for the following seven days. So a new day will be available for week of reservations each night at midnight instead of a once a week release. Now the cool part to this is that you can basically jump on there um, you know, a week prior, any day, and then set up, you know, that following day a week out. As opposed to before, you had to wait the entire week till the new week opened up, and then you had to jump in there with everyone else that's also trying to reserve one day in that following week. It was just a huge influx of people uh, all jumping in, even though it might have been one of the seven days that wasn't even a popular day. Now you're fighting with everyone to get into that reservation system. The issue I see with this though, is that if you were trying to book a block of days, like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you have to get on the reservation system each day that the new reservation day opens to avoid missing out on that block of days that you want. So that might be kind of a issue. So either get the pass, which you only have uh, tonight to finish that up, you know, and then book those days out in advance. And if you're gonna try to do day of tickets, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I wanted to highlight a few of the frequently asked questions on here that I think a lot of people are curious about. So here we go. So when can I purchase lift tickets? Lift tickets will go on sale December 8th, 2020. When you purchase your lift tickets this season, it will include a reservation for a specific resort and specific date. Uh, therefore, there is no need to make any further reservations. We will not be selling lift tickets for early season. The best value for early season skiing and riding at most of our resorts is an epic day pass. And so those are gonna end today. Can I decide last minute that I want to ski and what about powder days? Yes, as long as there are reservations available at a resort, you can make changes the same day. While you won't be able to make a reservation at a ticket window this season, you can make one online or on your phone to activate your pass. The key takeaway here is that you can't just show up to the mountain in the morning and then go to a ticket window and purchase your lift ticket. You have to do it online and you have to do it in advance. So that is a huge change for the COVID season. All right, one of the last questions that I found that I think is really good for people who are you know, wanting to get into the snowboarding season this year is that will all resorts sell daily lift tickets? So daily lift tickets will be available for advanced purchase starting December 8th, 2020. So in two days, given the need to manage lift ticket sales, they will only be sold on our websites and through our call centers. No lift tickets will be sold at the ticket window in the resort. So they've said this multiple times. So I think they are expecting people just to show up to the mountain uh, and hoping that they're able just to purchase day of tickets. We encourage guests to purchase in advance and then pick up the lift ticket at the ticket window. So you can purchase online and then show up and then go to the ticket window and get your ticket. So what this means is that you purchase your ticket online and then you actually actually need to go there to get the physical ticket. Uh, that way they can scan you at the lift. So this last little clip will show you how to set up your reservations and give you a few of the upcoming dates uh, when there will no longer be passes available. So the pass holder priority reservation window is from November 6th to December 7th, which is tomorrow from the day that I filmed this. So if you can get your pass today and set up your priority reservation window by tomorrow, then you'll be good to go uh, for any time in the future of this season. If you don't, you're going to be left to just buying daily passes when those days come out. Um, so you might miss out on some of those, uh, you know, so you might miss out on those uh, days where a lot of people are gonna be on vacation, you know, especially over Sundance if they do it this year or over spring break timeframes. So definitely you wanna get your early season pass and get those days booked. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was an informative video. I know it's very confusing and everyone has a lot of questions about these passes. The resorts are trying their best. Um, and the last time I was up, we actually asked some of the uh, resort personnel, specifically if you didn't have a reservation and you showed up to the mountain, will they let you up on the mountain? And they told us no. They said that the scanners that they use to scan your pass is connected to the resort system and it will show that you don't have a reservation 
Uh, it'll flag you and then they'll turn you away. So you wanna make sure that you are following the proper procedures to get your reservation days and to have your passes appropriately uh, to avoid an embarrassment when you get up to the mountain and then they won't let you go. Again, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know how your reservations have gone this year and I hope to see you on the mountain. Take care.